uh, about to run outdoors and I wanted to do an unboxing video. So I ordered these Killer Frog lures uh, about two weeks ago now. Um, they come from either the United Kingdom or Thailand, depending on what's closest to you as far as which distribution center they come from. Not really important. <clears throat> Basically, what I want to get, what I want to do here. Basically, what I want to do here is an unboxing of these lures. So I have a package here. Um, let's get to it. All right. So I cut it open to save some time. Um, the first one I have here is this really cool brown frog. So this, I believe, is one of the ones that came in a set. So I bought a set of three different ones, and it comes with three different colors. So this one right here is the first color. See these killer frog lures? They're all hand-painted, really, really nicely done. You can see they got these weed guards right here on the hooks as well as these rubber skirts on the back and you basically just walk these across the water. They're all hand painted, they're all really nicely done and absolutely very high quality. So, this one I'll get to, this one's kind of cool. So I didn't, I'll get, I'll get to that, I'll get to that. So this is the second one that came with this set of three. So, <clears throat> I'm being a little sick, as you can't tell. get the hooks out here. Alright, so just like the last one, you got those weed guards on there, the rubber skirt. This one is in a green pattern. So these are called, these are the walking frogs. You can see it's kind of got this, this cup shape right here. And you'll basically just walk that across the water on the bass latch on or pike, musky, whatever you may be fishing for. Um, they don't have bass over in the UK so they use these for pike a lot. Or uh, they call them barramundi as well. Um, can latch on right here. Get that bite going. So we get that one. This one we'll get to. This actually might have been. This, I believe, was the third one that came with this set here. So, this one's more of a toad style bait. As you can see, same deal in there. One thing I just noticed about all these actually, um, so I don't know if you can hear this, but these actually all have rattles in them, so you'll get a little bit more action that way, a little bit more noise kind of going through the water and get those, those fish interested in what you're throwing. Um, let's see what else I got here. So I got I ordered six in total, but I got seven, and I'll kind of go over why here in a minute. Um, the guy that I ordered these from, Nathan, he's actually a really cool dude, and, and uh, he helped me out a little bit, which was really cool. So this is one of the original killer frogs. So the green pattern, you get those same great weed guards on the hooks, same great skirt. And just look at how beautiful these are. They're absolutely gorgeous, hand painted, very nicely done. I tell you what, bass are gonna absolutely crush, oh gosh. Bass, <laughs> bass are gonna absolutely crush this thing. I, I'm very excited to throw these this spring. And on all of the original ones as well, thing you do get is this guy right here. So all these are going to come with this buzz blade. So you throw that on the front, right there, attach your frog to it. You can actually use this as a buzz bait across the top of the water. Very cool. I like that feature. I'm going to definitely throw that. I bought one of these years ago um, and I, I throw it a couple times where I grew up there wasn't a whole lot of bass. Or, let me phrase that. There was bass but I didn't know where to find them. But I've gotten more heavily into it. I've started throwing the frogs a lot more, and uh, I'm I'm super excited to, to actually get down to business and chuck these things in, in the water. I do know the action on them is really cool. I've been very happy with the one I have so far. 
So I'm excited to uh, dig a little deeper. So this one's gorgeous. This one's actually red. It's got that black and white skirt on it. That one's just really, really pretty. Absolutely. I like this. I, so this is the one I didn't even order. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll read a letter that he sent me. This, is one's, this one's a little bit smaller than the last one, so they come in different sizes. They have a couple different styles as well. Um, but he wrote me a letter, and uh, it was actually really cool the way he did it. And grab it real fast. So, dear James, uh, thanks for the order. A, a couple of the colors are out of stock. Uh, we will not be getting more in for a while. I sent you an alternative. Uh, also included an extra free lure. That's this guy right here. Um, hope that is okay. Happy fishing. I'm absolutely okay with that. I actually kind of like some of the different colors. I ordered some that were kind of the same. Um, and kind of less exciting, so I'm, I'm actually kind of happy that I got some different colors to throw out here and see what actually works the best, you know? Um, so those are my two smaller ones. This one's clearly smaller than the other. The other one I have is about this size. So these are a little bit bigger for some of the bass we have here. I'm going to throw these for pike, too. I have a trip coming up. I'm going to Wisconsin, and I'm going to throw these at some of the pike and the walleye. I don't... Don't do a lot of walleye fishing, but I figured, what the hell, might as well try it at top water. So this one right here, I'm kind of excited about. So this is a, this is called the Giant Toxic Toad. So you can see, in comparison, how much bigger this one is compared to the little guy here. And uh, this is going to attract some absolutely massive bass. So. I, I am super excited to get this thing on the water, and look at that bright orange belly. I said all hand painted, I mean just beautifully done. I, I, I can't wait, this is going to be awesome. And again this one as well comes with the buzz blade attachment, so take that, throw it out, and uh, give it a shot. So now to the last one, the one that I did not order. So I don't even know what this one's called. Um, let's see, I have to look this up real quick. So they got a website for you to check out. Kind of, it's called Killer Frog Lures. Um, go ahead and give them, a ch you know, check them out. See what, see what you think. Um, they got some Venom Vipers. It looks like a Viper head with like a prop bait attachment on the back. Um, blow frogs. So this is the Killer Frog XL. Uh, this is the original Killer Frog right here. And these are the Walk the Frogs, and this is a giant Toxic Toad. So these were supposed to be a pack of three. They ran, he ran out, so he actually threw me a Toxic Toad, which I'm totally cool with. Um, I got a little bit of everything to try now. And then this is, oh goodness, what is this? This is very different. Maybe this is the XL. I'm not sure. It's huge. It's, it's freaking huge. So I gotta find what this guy is. Let's see, XL Killer Frog. Let me check that. Let's see. Sorry, I'm. Let me kind of. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut through this a little bit, but. Um, I'm trying to find exactly what this thing is. Okay, so these are. Okay, so they call these monster buzz baits. So these are made to be thrown with that buzz blade attachment. That hook out there. So these ones are less weedless. They don't have those little forks that come up and block those hooks. Um, they also don't have the rattles like the bigger ones do. Um, it, feels, it feels pretty buoyant. It's bright purplish on the top, that fluorescent purple with this pink skirt. Really, really nicely done. And as well, it comes with that blade attachment just like everything else. So these ones are made to be thrown as a buzz bait style. That's kind of how it's designed. But they separate it that way you could throw it just as a normal walking frog or plopping frog or whatever you want to use it as um, as well. So I got the whole lineup right here. Not sure if it's in the shot. I might have to disconnect the camera or pull the camera off and, and show you guys. But um, these are all the frogs here. 
Uh, very nicely done. I, I'm really, really excited to throw these on my rod this year and check them out. That was weird. All right. So uh, I'm going to pull so the camera off. I got all the frogs you. lined up here. As you can see, all these different colors. Get this zoomed in here. All right, all these different colors. Um, you can see those weed guards on there. That's that toxic toad. And these are the ones with the buzzbait attachment. I'm really excited for these. You can kind of see the size difference there. Um, I, I can't wait to throw these and give them a shot on the water knife to see what they're like. And uh, hopefully catch some big bass on them. All right. Thanks for checking out Battleborn Outdoors. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and uh, go ahead and check out some of my other stuff. This is... I'm still very early in this channel, so I appreciate you guys checking it out and giving it a chance. So thank you much and enjoy.